like you have a very natural beauty. Thank you. You're not wearing any crazy nails. There's no lip no, filler. I, I have nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is what you see is what you get, and I like it. Good day, gentlemen. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down yet another infield interaction of myself on the streets of Budapest, where I chat up a very cute and demure introverted young lady on the streets. Let's get into it. Excuse me, madam. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, are you? Good. I just saw you walking by. You had a very nice, chill energy about you. Thank you. To begin with, how am I doing this approach? So she's walking slowly. I just walk a little bit faster than her. And as soon as I go past her shoulder, I reach out my hand and I wave, right? And say, excuse me. And then she turns and then we stop. So this is a, an alternative to the running and jumping in front of type of approach, the walking along by the side. And this works very well when the girl's not in a big rush, I can see by her pace. And also because we're, you can't really see from the perspective, but we're on a big long walking street and there's not really anyone in the immediate vicinity. So if I, you know, run past her and jump in front of her, it's a bit of a shocking situation and it's very clear that I've chased after her. Now I could have done that in which case I would have needed to pre-frame, right? So if I run and jumped and said, excuse me, just stop for a minute. I saw you from way back there and I had to come over here and introduce myself. It would have worked fine, but there's no need for it. In this situation, she's at a chill pace. So I just am at a slightly less chill pace, just a little bit faster than her. Wave, she, she makes eye contact, I smile, I do my opener. And then I tell her, rather than saying you're gorgeous or beautiful, I'm noticing the vibe that she's in, which is that she has a relaxed, chill vibe. And, and indeed she does. Yeah, what's your name? How are you doing, I'm James. Hi. Good handshake. Hi, are you a local lady? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And what's the plan today? Uh, I'm meeting with a bit of friend and then another friend at the other side of the city. Mm -hmm. Did you have a long week? Sorry? Did you have a long week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of work to do, so I have. Are you, do you live here or? Yeah, I'm Australian though, so yeah. And what kind of work do you do? So the, the important thing to note here is just the vibe that's going on, All right? So immediately I noticed that she's quite softly spoken and there is throughout, I remember in this interaction, there was a, a level of let's say introverted tension where she her face went kind of quite red early on like she was shy and this was difficult for her so i'm matching her pacing here i'm slowing everything down i'm keeping it chill asking simple questions this was filmed on a friday so i'm you know asking about has she had a long week All right so very basic chit chat but the most important thing is here is that i'm matching and syncing up with her vibe uh i have a bab shop oh yeah yeah like a drop shipping thing or no, no, no. Oh, yeah. And I make temporary tattoos, things like this. And yeah, it's in Hungarian, so I'm not sure. Do you, do you speak Hungarian? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What do you mean by silly things? So I ask her what she does, and she says she has her own web shop. All right, firstly, I'm like, are you a drop shipper? And if she'd said yes, I would have like, How, does that even work? How do you compete with Amazon? But no, she has her own little online store. And you notice the phrasing, she says, I do these silly little things. And so to me, I just register that as maybe she doesn't feel so confident about what she's doing. So I return to this once she's kind of explained, she does postcards, things in Hungarian language. And then I return to that, which shows that I'm actually actively listening. What do you mean by silly little things? What do you mean by silly things? Like it's rushy, funny. Like it's memes, fun. like Hungarian memes or something. Yeah. Could you show me an example? You're, you're not gonna... Let's see how, how, if it's lost in translation. I'm curious. I mean, I live here, so I should un try and understand the Hungarian humor. So this is a good opportunity for me to come in closer to her. And from the back, it doesn't look very sexy, but <laughs> when I was there, I felt, okay, we're, we're actually quite close here. So for a girl that's shy, this is a good opportunity for me to come in close and that I'm showing active interest in what she's doing, right? Rather than saying, oh, that's cool. It's like, okay, these, you, you do trashy, silly memes. Show me what that means. It's in Hungarian, you won't get it. Yeah, so I'm like showing that I'm actually curious about her and her art. Oh, those are cute. So can you uh, translate one and explain it to me? What's uh, from this one is like for students who just graduated. Right. So this is uh, from now on you are not a student. You are 
jobless. Right, <laughs> your future, your future is fucked. Good little Hungarian joke there. <laughs> it's like, congratulations, you've graduated. Welcome to unemployment in a fucked up economy. All right, good. She'll go far. I'm sure, like, props for her hustle, huh? All right. Did you study art or graphic design or something? No, I'm a food engineer, but I never worked as well. Mm -hmm. So rather than me then spending more time on the art, like because she had a, on her Instagram, she had a whole bunch of these postcards and stuff. So I got one, I got the joke, cool. But then if I'd stayed being the guy that's really interested in the girl's art or photography, I'm like, oh, what about this one? Or what about this one? No, that's nice guy nonsense. It's like, cool, I showed the interest. Now I switch back to, all right, so we, did you study this? And then she starts explaining more about herself. Well, that's pretty cool that you started your own thing. Yeah. Is it going okay? You? Uh, I also run a business, so I'm a life coach, a meditation teacher, sexuality teacher. So yeah, I've been running that for a long time, over 15 years, traveling the world with it. And I also teach, teach guys how to pick up, and right now I'm filming a video where I'm demonstrating that as we speak, but oh no, I'm a meditation teacher. True, do teach meditation. How did you end up in Hungary? Uh, I had a Hungarian grandmother. Okay. Yeah, and so I came over here just for travels, I don't know, a long time ago, and I liked it. So I just decided I wanted to move my business to Europe. It was kind of an easy way to start. And then that was my base for a long time. Now, I, I mean, I'm here sometimes. I'm mostly in Portugal these days. You guys must be so sick of me hearing this story about how James came to Hungary and then he, and then he also lives in Portugal. I'm sorry, but it's my life. I'll try to make up, I'll, I'll make up something different next time. Yeah. Yeah. On and off for uh, eight years, I guess. But I'm traveling a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. We're kind of matching today, actually. Yeah, it's easy to match in black. All right, so there was a moment here, I remember this, where basically there's a pause and we're both looking at each other in the eye. And at that moment, I don't know what to say. Right? Like, I'm just, just, my brain froze and I was just like, got nothing to say. So instead of, I don't know, fidgeting or mumbling something else, I just let it sit. And we just had this little moment where it's this, you know, you could say it's awkward tension, but it's just tension and that's all right. A good seducer needs to be able to sit within moments of tension because that's where, that's really where the bubbling sexuality is gonna come up anyway. And you've got to understand that silence can be your friend and it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? So instead of me panicking, it's just like I'm just staring at it for moment and then I'm like all right that's a bit too long now ah we're kind of matching today and then I find some random thing to move on from don't worry about it it's all good sit in the pressure it won't kill you we're kind of matching today actually yeah it's full. easy to match in black so yeah yeah it's it's classic it's not, not going out of style yeah uh, are you a kind of int introverted person uh, well I'm kind of in the middle I guess mm-hmm Depending on... On the people I'm with. Um. Right. Well, I'm definitely introverted, so now I'm, I'm, we're rubbing off on you, so we've both got our like introverted vibe going on. So from our little tense moment, sexy tense moment, I break the tension on that by just making some random observation that we're both wearing black. Cool, that was the best I could think of at the time. And then I decide to segue into something that's, let's say, more personal. But there's no obvious link here, I'm just making a decision that I don't want to ask some other random fact. I want to find out something personal about her, you know, about her character or her personality. So I ask, is she an introverted person? Now, that's not coming out of nowhere. I'm seeing so far that she's quite shy. She speaks slowly. She, her face had gone a little bit red. Uh, she's an artist, so it's not, not without any kind of evidence. I wouldn't ask some really gregarious girl that. And then her answer is that she is depending on who she's with. And I then make that a bit about us, that it's like, okay, I'm an introverted person and I guess I'm rubbing off on you. I could have done an innu... That's a bit of an innuendo. My introversion is rubbing off on you. Uh, and so what am I showing here is a little bit of vulnerability, right? It's not a negative character trait. I'm obviously confident enough to go over there and start the conversation and, and lead the conversation. But it's totally cool to show these different aspects of yourself. We don't need to pretend to be extroverted or super confident if we're not. On the flip side, we wouldn't be saying, oh, I'm extremely shy and nervous and this is really freaking me out. It's just like, okay, I'm revealing an aspect of myself which allows her to reveal more about herself as well. <laughs> I'm a confident introvert. Yeah, okay. Um, actually, 
I think it's even, you know, when I'm speaking English, I'm not that confident in speaking it. So. Right, that's understandable. You're doing totally fine, though. I understand sure. everything. Your word choice is on point. As we can see, now that I've shown a little bit of vulnerability, then she says, oh, I think it's because when I'm speaking English, I'm not that confident. We're being real with each other here. This is a sweet moment. And then I validate her and make her feel good. Oh, your English is good. Your worst choice is good. So we're creating more trust and rapport here. That's good. Yeah. And what do you do? Like, so are you kind of locked in your office working all day on your own stuff? or? Yeah, that's mm. it. <laughs> yeah. I'm working from home. But, you know, like a few months ago, I started uh, consulting people on social media, like, you know, so social media management and oh, yeah. some content creation stuff. So I'm doing that also. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have meetings and I'm, uh, you know, meeting with friends and friends and that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Cool. Well, I'm going to go. I know you've got friends to meet. Would you like to get a tea sometime? All right, so I decide to wrap it up. She opens up another topic that she's also a social media, social media manager and totally could have asked, got into another whole big topic about that. What's that all about? Could have, could have discussed it, but decided that's enough for now. So I'm the one that ends the interaction. I know you've got to go. I've got to go and meet my friend who's my cameraman who's filming you right now. Uh, would you like to go and get a tea sometime? Clear offer, not the let's hang out, let's exchange phone numbers. It's, I want to do a specific thing with you. I chose tea with her because I had a vibe that she might be a kind of tea and sex kind of girl instead of a raging cocktails and cocaine and sex kind of girl. Ask for a tea and she says immediately, yes, sure, uh, which is a good sign. Didn't hesitate at all. Yeah, cool. Do you have a WhatsApp number? Yeah. Remind me your name again. Did we do names yet? We did. Yeah. I forgot her name, not a big deal, and all I do is just say, remind me your name again. It's not an insult, it doesn't reflect badly on you. People forget each other's names when they're first introduced. You don't need to try and play any tricks or anything. You forget it, just say, remind me your name again, as I did, and it's all fine. Do you remember mine? Jonathan? Close. Try again, it's another J name. I don't know. I'm James. Not sure. James. <laughs> right, so I flip it then. Did she forget mine? Yes, she did. Now, I ask her once to guess it. She says, Jonathan. What you wouldn't want to do there is then do that num another bunch of times. If I'd said another J name and, she's, and then I wait, she's like, Jason, no, try again. Now it's becoming irritating. So I, I put a little bit of pressure on her for that moment. She forgets it, tell her my name, moving on. Easier if you just put your number in. I almost always do that. Don't ask the girl to read out a number, three, six, and you're typing it out. Again, I'm holding the pressure here, just taking my time, opening the contact, putting the number in, putting the plus three, six for the area code. Let all that sit. Don't need to talk during this part. I hand it over to her so that she puts the number in. It's the smoothest way to do it. I like you have a very natural beauty. You're not wearing any crazy nails. There's no lip no, filler. I, I have nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is what you see is what you get, and I like it. All right, excellent compliment at the end, right? Because as, I'm, as I've been hanging out with her, like I could see from behind, nice body. I get in front, pretty girl. And then as I'm having an interaction with her, I start to notice that, yeah, she's not, she just has real nails. She has no makeup on. She's very, very simple in the way that she's put together, but she has beautiful skin and she's like a natural beauty. All right, so me at the very end there, giving her that extremely sincere compliment, and she's like, yeah, I have nothing, this is who I am. What you see is what you get, and I like it. All right, this is, has so much more impact than the running up to a girl and saying, hey, you look hot, just generically hot. So, as you're sure, you can open with some kind of compliment, that's totally fine, but, and this is not, this is as a general rule or something you keep in mind, that as you're with the woman, you notice, what kind of beauty does she have as she starts to express herself or you notice the way she's put herself together uh, with, her, with her hairstyle, with her jewellery, with the way that she moves. Giving her a very specific compliment, especially towards the end, like that's, that's going to leave a good impression. She's going to feel that and remember that and that's going to definitely influence if you're going to see her again. All right, me too. It's all, all natural. No makeup? No, not today anyway. Yeah. All right, lovely to meet you. Yeah, you Take too. it easy. We'll see you soon. Yeah, see Bye. You. Bye. Oh, you notice the little look back at the end as I walk off and she looks back. Good sign. This, is, this girl was like totally wifey material. 
And as me, me and my cameraman were saying, because he listens in on the interactions as we're going. And what I thought about was like, this is the type of girl that you're only gonna meet through day game, right? This girl's not out at the club. She's not partying. She's a, a demure, in, semi-introverted artist who spends most of her time working on her art. And I don't know if she's ever on a dating app or whatever, but that's one of the golden, amazing things about getting proficient at day game is that you're gonna find these gems that you're not gonna find in your social circle, you're not gonna find them out trawling on the clubs, uh, and you're probably not gonna find them online. And the great thing about that is like, I've got zero competition. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe she's got five boyfriends, I don't know. But there's, there's way less, uh, she's got way less interactions with thirsty males in her life than the girl that's on Tinder or the girls that are going out a lot. What am I saying that for? Once again, to pitch to you the idea that you've got to get good at this, competent at this, being able to walk up to strangers in everyday situations and uh, have a good conversation with them. This is what, probably where you're going to find your girlfriend. This is where you're going to find your 10 or your amazing girl uh, because it's, it's a real situation. It's not influenced by the apps or it's not influenced by lights and drugs and alcohol and social status and all the other stuff that are involved in the other places or ways that you can meet women. It's so raw, it's so real. It's you and the girl. You get a real chance to express yourself, to find out who she actually is, and you get to cut through the matrix to, do, to have access to types of women that most men will never get access to because they don't have the balls to do this. So, I hope you enjoyed today's infield uh, breakdown. What a lovely chick. And uh, what, I'm, what else do I want to say is, well, if you'd like to learn how to do this, it's not rocket science, but it does require doing the right things and getting enough repetitions in. And if you'd like to supercharge and speed that up, you can come and work with me. I'm running one more workshop for 2024, which is from the 1st until the 4th of November in Barcelona, Spain, which is one of the best cities in the world for meeting women. It's extremely walkable. It's packed with hot girls from all around the world. And people go there to have fun and hook up. 30 million tourists a year, can't be wrong, yeah? So uh, yeah, join me for this four day seduction extravaganza as I'll be taking you around the streets, miking you up, putting, into, putting you into many, many, many of these types of interactions, listening in and then giving you razor sharp feedback to make sure that you get exponential change with every interaction. Plus, in a game, overhauls, styling, lifestyle design advice, sexuality training, and so much more. This is the world's most comprehensive dating and seduction workshop that exists and I, and the man with the most experience doing this in the world. So join us, click the link below, get on a call with my team, have a chat about uh, what we have to offer you. And I hope to see you in the workshop coming up in November. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.